Hello, hello. Can you hear me okay? Welcome to the Zoom. Hello, Mike. Hope you're hey. doing well. Sorry, I'm 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 outside right now, so I'll be no watching this live from the gym, from outside. But I'm really enjoying your content. Thank you so much for providing this much of value yeah. for free. I really appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I I think I sent it out at a bad time or something. I mean, it was last minute, so I don't know how many people are going to actually even get yeah, on. Yeah, I, I was walking outside and I said, I said I won't miss this out. So I'm going to the gym right now. <laughs> no time, but absolutely, I'll be attending this great live. I yeah, hope I other mean, people would participate. Yeah, hopefully some other people get on. I mean, it didn't look like a lot of people registered. I mean, I literally sent it out like 10 minutes ahead of time. So, um, and I sent it to yeah. a very uh, small part of the list, only like a thousand people. So I don't expect a lot of people to get on. But um, if you do have any questions, I mean, you're, you got full access right now. So any questions you got, it's okay. If you're making some noise or whatever, that doesn't bother me. Okay, thank you. Yeah, like I'll be, I'll be here uh, around, and if I have any questions, or I'll interrupt uh, between like. Yeah, I mean, questions. I'm not really gonna. Um, I didn't really have a whole lot that I was, you know, planning on covering. I just wanted to pretty much have people ask questions. So, I mean, you know, if we don't, if we don't get any questions on here, you know, I don't know, you know, what else we would really go over or talk about. Um, I just wanted to give people a chance. I know, you know, the build lab tomorrow is going to be going up in price. So I just thought, you know, I'd get on here. Uh, let people oh, yeah, ask yeah. questions. Yeah, I saw that. yeah. By so, the way, like I was like, uh, I think your tomorrow is your birthday. Yeah. 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 Happy birthday, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'm not sure if we'll talk tomorrow, but I'll just say it now. So I wish you all the no, best. I appreciate and it. Thanks a lot for providing this value. So what are you working on? I mean, what do you have some questions about things? Like where, like, where can I help you? Let's, let's try to get something out of this here. Uh, well, uh, currently I'm, um, I don't have any digital product, but I'm trying to build like a kind of digital product, like the way you're describing. I'm trying to figure many things out in my life currently with my uh, previous job and so on. So, but I think in the future I'll join build lab because I've got so much value from you. I've worked in the um, furniture industry for like almost four to five years now. And mm -hmm. I'm trying to build a community around that, how to like to help like furniture um, um, manufacturers to be um, present digitally, because this is what I was doing in the last years, like individually, but I've never tried to do a community. And I think the way you are doing it is really great. This is why I'm trying to um, get inspired from what you're, doing right now and so you were off. helping were you were helping furniture places do um marketing like you were helping them in the marketing department or just get on yeah. and yeah okay. well i was helping them almost in everything the same way you do it like with the, all the technical things marketing almost and i have worked many years in sales so i have a good background in this industry and i didn't want to go abroad as i well, I did some e-commerce in different um, products, but I want to focus on the on the in on the furniture industry because it's something that I um, I really want to add value for, and it's like a really huge industry. There's so much money there, and I want to get my part from it. Yeah, no, that's good. I mean, are you planning on putting together like a digital product to just show them how to make that transition or how to get over there? Yeah, exactly. This is what I'm trying to figure out how to do it because I don't want to go into so much technical. I want to keep it like um, the most value with like the easiest way to get the most value. And mm -hmm. yeah, so currently I'm not sure uh, how I'm going to structure it. Of course, as you always say, just put things together. Mm -hmm. I'll try to like, I try to brainstorm a lot which is not good. I should just start doing, but hopefully in the next, in the next month, 
month or two months, I will I would get something out. Yeah, I mean, the best thing I would say for you to do, and you know, this a lot of times seems like a lot, but what I would do is, you know, let's say this weekend, okay? When I hear people yeah. say like in a couple months or whatever, there's really no reason, you know, to wait. I mean, we could, you know, we could jump off here right now and you could create something. And I know that sounds crazy, but the best thing to do is just literally grab like a notepad, a pen, and just write out like, okay, I have, you know, 10 minutes to, to write something down. And then you just say, what would I teach them if I could only give them 10 videos and I had, you know, five minutes in each video, what would I teach them in each video? And just write down a single thing. And literally this weekend, just try to record it and try to even, it doesn't matter, no pictures, no fancy slides, no, no nothing. Just, I literally want you to, you know, either use like Loom, which is what we use, L-O-O-M, um, you know, or, yep. or if you've got some kind of record, use your phone to record it. It doesn't matter. But the big thing that I've seen with the group and what I've watched people do is they're always, you know, going to get ready. They're going to do it. They're getting prepared to do it. They're going to, you know, make it happen at some point or when they're ready or all these different things. But instead, it's like, why not just create it real fast so you have something to look at or listen to? And then you can say, you know what? I need to make this better. And it's going to be crappy. It's going to be lean and mean and, you know, just it's just going to be basically, you know, scribbles, if you will, but get a piece of paper and write down, okay, in 10 videos, if I had to teach somebody this, I couldn't show them anything. Let's say um, I, I don't have any slides. I'm literally just going to take the notes I have on this piece of paper and I'm going to shoot 10 videos and I'm going to try to keep them around five minutes long. And I'm just going to teach them by talking how to actually do this thing. Okay. And once yep. you do that, it's, it's going to, like I said, it's, you don't have to show it to anybody. You don't have to give it to anybody, but you getting that out of you and, and, and recording that, then you can sit there and be like, okay, how could I improve this first video? How could I actually show them what I was talking about? And how could I, you know, represent this thing and make it easier for them to understand? And I've literally had people that have been in build lab for months and have been, you know, they've been through the program and they're, you know, just stuck in this like, the, you know, confidence problem, or they overthink it problem, or they're making it harder than it is problem, or they're thinking about all these different, you know, tools and aspects and everything. And I'll tell them to do what we just talked about, create, you know, 10 steps, if you only had 10 steps that you could teach them what you want to teach them to get them from point A to point B, if you only had 10 videos that you could do that with 10 steps and they could only be five minutes long, what would you say? And if you create that, I've had people create this in a weekend and literally by the following week have their first client and they're already starting to like rebuild their course and make it better. I mean, people literally buy books that have no slides, no visuals, no audio, no nothing. And you can create this product in the weekend, in a weekend, okay? And yep. from that, it's it's going to teach you so many things. Number one, you're going to learn that, okay, I'm just creating information that helps people get from point A to point B. Then you can look at, you can listen to it and look at it and be like, okay, how could I make this video better? Could I make, how could I add more visuals to this? And then what you do is you use that little 10 video you know, one hour basically course that you just created or that program or that product that teaches people how to get from point A to point B, you use that as like a yeah. lead magnet and you get people into it and just get feedback from them. Even if they're like, this is garbage or this is crap or whatever you want to say, right? Like they, they might be like, oh, this is terrible. Or if nobody opts in for it, you know, that's another thing. It's like, okay, well, what kind of headline would I put with this? How would I make this more attractive? And from doing that, from actually building that simple 10 video, five minute each course, by doing that, you're going to, you're going to discover and uncover everything that you, it'll be amazing what happens. Okay. Because then what you have yeah. to do is now you're going to take that and you're just going to keep refining it. You're going to make it better. And then you can add a community to it. Then you can also add a, a live part of it. Like once a week live, you just get on 
Because see, in Build Lab, what I do is every Monday and Thursday, I get on live with everybody in Build Lab and they can share their screen. It's basically like what we're doing right now, but you can share yeah. your screen. I can share mine. And then you, that's what you would want to do with your, your program. And when, when you can get it to where people are opting in for it for free and they're like, wow, this is great. Now, you know, you can turn up the price a little bit. Now you can sell some of it. Now you can add like a, a monthly recurring to it. This is how you get started. And if I were to go back to my younger self, when I first got started in this stuff, like, almost 15 years ago. That's what I would yeah. tell myself. I'd say, listen, not tomorrow, not next month, not next week. Okay. Today, tonight, this evening, record these videos. You can literally just do it on your phone. You could have notes. You could literally write the notes on your phone and then just record your voice on your phone. And then you give that away for free to validate it and make it, you know, make it something that you can edit and make something that you can make better. Okay. Don't, yep. the longer you wait, the longer it's just, there's just no reason to wait yep. at all. It's just like, just do it because yeah, the moment you, you, to lose, yeah, not, you, you yeah. have nothing to lose. You can quickly validate it much, much quicker. And it gives you a understanding that, you know, People sometimes people think, oh, well, who would want to listen to me? Or who, you know, who who am I to be somebody that could give information? I'm telling you, just the other day, okay, we've been doing this, you know, over a decade and a half. Just the other day, we had somebody ask us what digital marketing was. This was a grown person, <laughs> like yeah. you know, mid they didn't even know what digital marketing was. And last night, Michelle got on and she um, people were talking about, you know, uh, saturation and all that stuff you, for something to, for a market to be saturated, it, ha, you, there has to be 70% of the market in involved in it. Right. Meaning like, um, what we figured out with hers is she would have to have 4 million customers to even come close to being saturated. Right. If you have a thousand yeah. people giving you $50 a month, your entire life changes. Exactly. You don't need millions of or th hundreds of you, thousands. You need a thousand true fans. And the way you do it, the way you prove out your program and the best program that I've, I mean, I've created lots of digital products, lots of courses, lots of in-person consulting, thousands of, of people, you know, okay. The best thing I've ever seen and has always worked for me is you take a program inside of a, a community that has an aspect of live to it. So it's like course that you keep updated community for all the people in the course that can talk to you and the other people going through it and then have that live element each week just jump on it can be for an hour i like to go twice a week because a, co a couple reasons number one um i get educated and i get better and i can hear from my people what they want what they need so it helps me go in and make adjustments and make things better make better content it's just amazing and for them it gives them incredible amounts of value so that, you know, if you can get in and talk to the person like you and I are doing right now, it changes everything, doesn't it? Like how much different are you thinking now just compared to what you were thinking, let's say 14 minutes ago? Yeah, it's totally different. Yeah, that's just, this is just 14 minutes. I, in Build Lab, I get on every single week on Monday and Thursday for two hours at a time, each time, each week. And I record those and I put them in the member area. So imagine then you also have a community of people that are doing the exact same thing you are going through the exact same program. And then you have a program that you can go through and learn from. And it all starts with you just doing that simple exercise of, Hey, I've got 10 steps, 10 videos, five minutes long. It's all I have. And I have to get somebody from point A to point B, no slides, no fancy, nothing. I'm just going to create it. And from that you can create, an empire of whatever you want from that little thing recorded on your phone. You can now say, how can I make this better? How can I make this better? How can I make this better? And then you can add the community. You can give it away for free to validate your ideas and don't think just do it. And you'll find out what you do know and you'll find out what you don't know. And from there you can then edit and iterate and improve it. And that's how you build this thing up to be 
you know, think, I, I always think about the Porsche 911. They've been building that exact same car for 50 years. The first one didn't even have mirrors on both sides of the car. The next yeah. year, they're like, maybe we should put a mirror over there too. <laughs> you know, the next year, it's like, okay, well, let's improve the headlight. Next year, let's make the seats better. Next year, let's make this. And now you've got something today that's worth a quarter million dollars. And it's one of the best things you could ever buy as far as vehicles. So that's how that happens. And so many people that want to do this business, they want to sell digital products, create and sell you know, membership sites and, and build something that's powerful and that helps people and that can free them from their nine to five and all of that stuff. It starts with a 10 step, five minute video each or five audio each little thing on your phone that you listen back to and you're like, I can make this better. How can I improve this? What did I leave out? What could I show them? How could I do some of this for them so that when they get it, it's already done. And that's kind of how Build Lab came about. You know, I was like, well, I'll just create the website for them. I'll create the funnel for them. They can go in and edit it and I'll show them how it works and how to set it up, but I'll go in and do these things for them. Oh, well, I'll help them figure out how to write this or create this or shoot this, or here's how to use this software. Or, you know, that's what comes year after year. And for me, Build Lab, I mean, I, I plan on 10 years, 20 years from now, Build Lab just keep getting better and better and better. And I'm just focused on having a thousand true fans, a thousand people that love what I'm doing and, and, and see the value in what I'm doing and are part of the movement of what we're doing. And those thousand people all have a friend that's also very into what they're doing. So now you have 2000 people and they all have a friend. <laughs> so that's how that thousand true fans thing really changes everything. Imagine in five years from now, let's just say it took you five years, which it, it should never take you that long. Let's take it five years from now. You had a thousand people paying you 50 to a hundred dollars a month. What currently are you doing in your life that you would have a, a recurring revenue like that in five years? For most people, nothing. But here, all you have to do is solve that problem for those people you told me about when you jumped on here. Yep. So forget about next week, next month, tomorrow. Just think about, okay, tonight, you know what? Just try to do it. Just fight the urge and just get through it and just be like, wow, now I have something. How can I improve it? It's like a painting. It starts out as like a, faint sketch and just blocks and then they put a little bit of shapes in there and then they add another layer and then they add another layer and then they add another layer and at layer after layer it gets more defined more crisp more de depth more meaning more emotion more power and then it becomes something that lasts forever so yeah thanks a lot mike that's really yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, I'll try to, to come up with something tonight or tomorrow, as you said. Just, ju like, just do just it. Just record myself and see. It's how not it about works, right yeah. or wrong. It's not yeah. about right or wrong. It's about have you cannot edit nothing. If you don't have anything, you can't make it better. Does that make sense? Yeah, sure. So the sure. sooner like that you, you have something, started. yeah. yeah. The sooner you have something to edit, it's like, if you want to get really good at drawing a circle, you have to draw one first. And then you look at where maybe it's not the right shape and you try to fix that again and then fix that again. But the problem is, is most people are always getting ready to draw the circle and, and someday they'll be really good at drawing circles, but they don't draw the first circle. And all you're True. doing with... All you're doing with business is solving problems, however you do it. And in the case that we're talking about, we're using digital products. We're using paid membership programs to solve those problems. We're using information to help people. Okay. You know, there could be gold a thousand feet from you, but you would never get access to it if you didn't have the information about where it was. So if I, but if I gave you that information, instantly you would go there and you could grab the gold. That's how important information is, obviously, right? So it, it precedes practically everything that ever happens. 
So this is really important. And the first thing you have to do is just get that first version out of you. So whenever you're like, well, I'll get to it eventually, or I'll get to it at some point, or, you know, I'm going to do it. I know I'm going to do it soon. And, you know, in a few months when I'm ready, that that's just you fearing the first version and, 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 and thinking that you, you already know what you, you already know what to say, what to do, but you don't realize that because you're not saying it or doing it. So just say it or do it. And then you find out how much you do or don't know. And now you can improve on that. That's the biggest thing about this. And that's what I see so many people struggle with because they think they need to know all the tech. They think they need to know all the copywriting frameworks or how to do automations or emails or sales pages or all, you know, content marketing and, and all this stuff. They think they need to have all that in place before they can start when if you just do it and, and create it and, and put it out to your, you don't even have to put it out to anybody, give it away for free and see how people respond to it. And the moment you do that, like the moment you would create those 10 five minute videos, taking people from point A to point B, you'll be astonished what happens inside of you. And there hasn't been a single person that took me up on that exercise that has not been like, dude, I don't know what I was doing or why I was waiting around or what I was like. I, it's amazing like how crazily simple this actually was to get started and do. And I mean, all of them have that same like shocking thing. And they're like, wow. <laughs> You know, if I sent you 10 audios that were just audios, you couldn't see me, you could only hear me. There was no slides, there was no nothing. And I directed you on exactly how to do something. It would be extremely valuable to you. So don't underestimate the value of that. And don't underestimate the value of that version one. And that's what's so important for you to create. So you can, it doesn't matter where you're at. It doesn't matter how loud it is. It doesn't matter how crunchy it is. It's for you. You have to get that first circle down on the piece of paper and you have to look at it and be like, oh, okay, let's build upon this. And Einstein said it best. He's like, it wasn't that I was smarter <laughs> than everybody else. He goes, I just stuck with the problem longer than anybody else. Everybody else gave up on it <laughs> or they didn't even attempt it. They were getting ready to attempt it. So anyway, yeah, true. well, welcome you guys. And Thank you so much, you know, for jumping on here with me. Um, and I just want to answer questions for you guys. I didn't necessarily have anything planned. Um, tomorrow, you know, Build Lab, uh, you know, goes up in price. And I just thought, you know, maybe there's some people in here that have questions about it. Maybe they don't. Um, I just wanted to do an ask me anything. And I, I didn't expect a lot of people to get on here. I only sent this out to like a thousand people. Um, and then I put it, you know, on TikTok and like Instagram. And I just thought, you know, whoever jumps on, you know, whatever, but it's kind of like, <laughs> it was last minute in the middle of the you know day work day on a Tuesday, you know, I'm like, I, I doubt anybody's really going to jump. So for you being here, thank you guys so much for being here. But um, I just want to answer any questions you have about how to start or grow or monetize an internet business, um, how to create and sell digital products or membership sites. And just any questions you have, if you guys want to look uh, into, you know, build lab, if you, if you want me to pull it up, we can look through it and if you have questions about things or if you just have any questions at all, uh, I'm going to hang out here with you for a little bit and uh, answer them for you. So go ahead. Uh, you guys can use the chat over here if, you, if, you, if you'd if you rather type it or you can just unmute yourself and uh, you can say, hey, <laughs> what's up? And I'll give you I'll give you my best. So I'll uh, I'll shut up. And I'll let you guys ask questions. Chandler Virtus. Mike, what's up, man? Can you hear me? What's going on, Chandler? Dude, I've been, I've been watching your content for a little while now, and and Sweet. Uh, you know, I, I think you're a you're a hidden gem on the internet right now. You're <laughs> you'll blow up and and get massive, even even bigger than you are eventually. But uh, but you're a hidden gem, and and I've been loving all Appreciate the stuff that. you've been putting out. So I've been uh, been slowly, silently in the background, stocking all the stuff you've been putting out. I love it. Um, cool. Good stuff. So. Yeah, I uh, so I, I run a digital marketing agency. Um, I mostly focused on e-commerce, um, social media ads. So 
uh, yeah, I, I ran different agencies and right now I'm in the middle of like freelancing and kind of unintentionally building another agency. Mm -hmm. Um, I, uh, I've been, I mean, the reason I've, I've been drawn to your content is one uh, the biggest thing is leverage. I'm trying to figure out, okay, is there a way that I could productize what I'm doing right now within my agency? Obviously I've looked into building courses. I've looked into membership sites, communities, um, you know, info products, all this stuff. So I've been in the space for, you know, uh, eight, 10 years now. And, and so I'm very familiar with all the, all the models, I guess I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm getting cold feet when it comes to, yeah, I guess turning my agency and just high touch service into, you know, this, this, you know, membership idea that you've been talking about. And I guess I, I want to know if one, if it's as good as it really sounds and, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I, I'm very interested in, in this leverage idea, um, you know, like how, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know how, how to like phrase my question better, but if you have any thoughts along that, then yeah, I, I'd be very interested. No, I totally understand. You know, when I was running my agency, it, I, I got up to a place where, you know, I couldn't do any, like once it got to like 30, 40 grand a month, it's like you, unless you have massive help or, or anything like that, and, and I was literally going to the client, <laughs> videoing their stuff and bringing it back, editing it, then turning it into posts and emails and ads and all this stuff. And it was literally, I just was at a, a physical breaking point where I couldn't do it. So I had, you know, a moment where I was like, I, I can't keep doing these sleep. I literally would not go to sleep. You know, I'm trying to get all the client work done. And yes, I should have brought in people. And, and I did at certain points, but it's just kind of where that thing starts to break unless you're going to go big. And so like with an agency, you know, the thing that you're doing for people right now or that your teams are helping people do or whatever, you can absolutely productize this. And if I were to give you like any real solid, solid advice, um, the best thing to do is understand that what you actually know and what you do is like extremely powerful. As I was saying to Abdu just a minute ago, you know, we had somebody ask us what digital marketing was the other day, like the opportunities out there for people to learn from what you're doing for people is immense. And so like, there's more than you'll ever be able to serve in your lifetime. And there is no, there is no such thing as like saturation in this type of deal. There's always somebody that is, you know, ready to learn what it is that you almost are like at a place where you're jaded by it. It's like for you, it's just super common. Who would not know this? And, you know, that's kind of the, the thing that you start fighting in the beginning, but the best type of program that you can build that will sustain and hold true with the mindset of thinking, okay, I want to have a thousand true fans. Okay. I want to have a thousand members paying anywhere from 50 to a hundred bucks a month. Okay. From there, it can grow and take on its own life. And, and from there, you'll know what to do next because at that place, you know, you're doing 50 to a hundred thousand a month. The program looks like this. You have a structured course in the back that you would continuously keep current. And that's what I do with Build Lab. Like it's always on its next version, just like Porsche is always on its next 911 version, just like this thing is on its next version, right? So that doesn't ever stop. It has to change as times and things change. So you have this structured program that in Build Lab, I teach you just there's three stages. Like, you know, for me, it's raw materials. Then you have your engine, your, your setup, your automated funnels, and then you have your traffic engine. These are the three phases. Each one of those phases has three parts to it. And each of those parts have three segments to it. That's just the rule of three and kind of how you set it up. So you have this structured self-pacing program that is pre-recorded. It's got the resources, the videos, you know, if you can show somebody how to do something in one second, that's better than in two seconds, right? So it's not about being long. It's about being how fast can I get them to the answer in the most simple, effective, understandable way. So you have that in the background. I like school for this, but I'm kind of a Sam Ovens. Um, you know, I grew up with him. He, I've been following him for years and years and years. I've been through all his programs and everything, right? So, um, and then he created school for people like us, right? And so I love school because you can put your program back there, your classroom, 
then you have a community aspect, right? So the community allows people to communicate, work with each other, you know, two minds create this third, more powerful mind kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And then you do a, a live element each week. Like for me, Monday and Thursdays, I go live with everybody in build lab for two hours each day. And I record those and I add it to the members area. Okay. So all, you know, every week build lab gets better and better and better because it's self-driven by the community and the weekly Q and a calls where people are asking questions. It's literally like this, what we're doing now, but you can share your screen or I can share my screen or we can work through every aspect of what we teach in build lab of how to start, grow and monetize. Okay. So what you would do is you would then take the knowledge that you're applying for people like in a, you know, done for you aspect. And you would literally just take that and step it out. So that's what I did. I was like, okay, all the stuff that I'm doing for my clients, I'm just going to imagine I'm going to teach them how to do it. And then it came to a place where I was thinking like, okay, instead of me trying to think about how I'm going to teach them how to do it, let me just pretend that I'm teaching my past self. So I'll just teach the young Mike that doesn't know how to do anything, how to do this from scratch. And I just, I asked myself, well, I wouldn't want a bunch of fluffy, long, crazy crap. I just want the answer, <laughs> you know? So I would just, I, I would create that way. And so once you have that, then it's just a manner of going out there and sharing with people why you matter, because if they don't know why you matter, then obviously you don't, right? And so you have to just then market each and every day. So the best thing that I can say is first, cre lay out that blueprint. And that's what I show people in Build Lab, okay? Like I show you like, hey, here's the business model from 30,000 foot. And then I'm like, let's figure out what are you gonna offer people? You know, what, what's your, how are you gonna help people solve problems, okay? And then the next step is, now that we know what you're going to help people solve the problem of, Let's take that and let's blueprint it out. What are the steps, you know, to get people from point A to point B, right? Once we have those steps laid out, now let's sell that thing. Let's, let's find out, will people sign up for that, right? So what we do is we create a, basically a lead magnet, a free training, and we say, hey, guys, for free, I'm going to show you how to do this, how to get from point A to point B. If people are registering for that, and people are learning from that and they get in there and you talk to them and you're like, what'd you guys think? Was this good? And you can do this live with them like I'm doing right now. And then you, you, you will know real quick, does my offer work or not? There's no fancy slides. You haven't built the program. You just literally laid it out. And then in a way that you would get on and just talk with them live, like I did with you guys. Okay. I just, Hey guys, I'm going live. <laughs> you can get on and say, Hey, uh, you know, when you register for this, I'm going to teach this stuff to you. And then they go through it and they're going to go, ah, oh, or I don't get it or whatever. You record these things. Now you really know what to create. You had this hypothesis, this blueprint laid out. Then what we do is we build a sales video. Then what we do is we set up your email automations, your funnel, your website, so that people can come and get and see and know. And then we start working on how you're going to market this thing or how you're going to educate people on what it is that you do to solve their problem. And then you just start getting members. And you, for the first like 30 members or so, you just say, hey guys, for the first 30 people, I'm going to build this with you live. So you can get in now, you can get a one-time investment or you can get 50% off of the 97 per month or whatever. And then you start getting members in and then you start turning up the price and you get it to where, you know, I mean, there's some people that charge thousands a month, <laughs> but for me, I, I want to be accessible and affordable to 90 plus percent of people. Now, some people will tell you high ticket and I've sold things for 10, $15,000 too. But I, my goal, my mission in life is to help more people not have to go get inside of the system and work for somebody doing something that they don't want to do, but instead be able to, you know, turn their income uh, or turn their knowledge into income. And I just want to be able to reach people that way. So any product that I create, anything that I do, I'm just going to help them solve parts of the problem. They can buy that as a one-off or they can ultimately join Build Lab where anything that I ever create, which I've got several things coming down the pipe, they can join Build Lab, be a part of it, be a part of the community and get in there. And I, I tell you all of this, not to like, you know, fire hose you, which I did, <laughs> but no, I, I want you to understand. 
yeah, I, I, what I want you to have is the understanding of like, you know, does it, is it as good as it seems? Does it actually mm -hmm. work? Those kinds of things. And the question is, is like, you know, how did you get here? You know, does it work? Yeah. Yeah. You see? Yeah. I mean, I'm so, I, yeah, yeah. So it's just, th this is a very simple thing. It's just mastering the mundane. Every day you need to be producing content, whether you're doing ads or not, you can only make so much content in your life. So you only have so many times that you can show up. So whether your content's perfect or whether you're, you know, on the ball with the perfect thing or whatever, it doesn't matter what any, it doesn't matter what Alex or Mosey or anybody else is doing out there. None of that matters. You know, winners focus on winning, losers focus on winners. So all you need to realize is like, there are a small group of people out there that need the information that I know are ready. And I'm just going to communicate with them, or in other words, just educate your past self on how to be where you are right now, for instance, right? Mm -hmm. And when you communicate like that, and you act like you're just talking to one person, which effectively you, you sort of are, you, you, they will come to you. You don't have to do it. Forget about the algorithms. Forget about all of that stuff, just talk to, you know, your past self or talk to that exact person that you know you can help and they will come to you and they will be a part of what you're doing and you don't have to be over the top. You don't have to be fancy. You just have to know that they are coming to you for an answer. And if you give them the answers, then they will come to you and advocate for you. That's it. It's that simple. If you help them solve their problems, your problems go away. They'll join your program. And yes, once you have made that decision, okay, I'm going to do this. The next thing is, okay, you know, I can ride the bike, but how can I ride it with one hand or, you know, wearing a nicer hat or something, right? Like that's, that comes and changes as you go, but you, you, have a you're you're at a place especially with an agency where you've got to make somewhat of a, a decision of because here's what happens in in order for an agency to scale and people mean different things by agency but you know at the most basic level let's say you're doing something for somebody they're paying you right and you, there's only so much that you can do before you're out of time you know, like yep. you can physically do. So now you have to, to scale, you have to bring in other people because you need people, you need more time so, and you don't have any more. So you have to get other people's time to enlist. And then every time you do that, the complexity rises, the uh, profits go down. And so then you have to make a decision in order to make a, a, a an agency and depending on your appetite for income, you have to go real big or you have to stay like where you're, let's say under, you know, 12 employees or something like that, because above, mm -hmm. above 10, 12 employees, chaos happens because yeah. it's kind of like at a dinner party. <laughs> if you get more than 12 people around a table, it's self-organizing up to about 12 people. <laughs> then, it, then it becomes, it starts to be like, well, where do I, what about, you know, it, it, it gets, yeah. it gets crazy. So what happens is businesses go into this in-between stage where they're not big and they're not small and they just go off to die basically because they, they, they're, it's like a snake eating its own tail. Okay. Mm. So then, so then you have to say, okay, well, how can I reach more people with this information that I have that's valuable that people are paying me for already? Well, you need to productize it. Okay. You can only hold one fishing pole, maybe two, but if you taught a bunch of people how to fish, now, all of a sudden, everything changes. You know, more money was made in the gold rush off of selling shovels than the actual gold that was found. <laughs> so you, you need to be the thing that helps people have the tool. You could teach other people how to do what you're doing and how to get to where you are. Or you could do, you could do both. You could also then teach the businesses that are paying you for your knowledge and information mm -hmm. and ability. You could also teach them how to do it themselves. Or, you know, when I was doing, when I first started out, I was teaching people's teams at their businesses how to do what I was doing for them. And they loved it. Things happen faster. They don't have to wait on an agency. They don't have to go back and forth. 
they can go down the hall or they can call their, you know, person on their team and make those changes. So it works 1000 million percent. I mean, you're here at, at a whim of no, you know, it's, <laughs> it's, um, it's just, are you going to do it or not? Is what it comes down to. Like, mm -hmm. are you going to take what you know and turn it into something that's available to others? Or, or yeah. you're not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you so much. That's super helpful. And I don't mean to hog the whole time here, but I know I'm, I'm one of a few, so I'm going to just shoot my shot. <laughs> um, that's Man, super helpful, I mean, by the way. So thank you. you I appreciate if you that. have more questions, ask them. And Virtus, did you have any questions? I know I already talked to Abdu, so if Virtus, I didn't, yeah, I didn't expect really anybody to jump on. If they don't have any questions, then keep All going. All right, I got another one then. Um, okay, so I think the thing that I'm wrestling with the most right now is that – so I, I definitely recognize that uh, – and, and first of all, I, I love the solopreneur lifestyle. I love the solopreneur model. I love – I mean, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. I, I, I left an agency that I was running. I sold it off. Um, we were – uh, over over 12 um and i i reckon it's funny that you say that because i i had been floating around that 12 number for a while and then we scaled a little bit and then anyway so i love the solopreneur lifestyle i'm so i'm totally bought in i'm totally sold on it um and i recognize that you know everything that you've been teaching is more scalable than what i've been doing i my my hours are limited but it's the the thing that's like it it's I don't know if you were to like graph it on a chart, it's like initially the, you know, the handful of clients that I have are going to pay more. That's going to be a, a bigger lifetime value. Um, even if they're with me for, you know, three months, that's like, you know, if it's a, if, a, if it's a, a, if it's a thousand dollar retainer, that's a $3,000 lifetime value. And, you know, three months wouldn't be a long time, but, um, but that would be, you know, significant compared to, 30 months of a, uh, you know, a hundred dollar. And, and so I, I'm wondering, you know, what benchmark retention rates, you know, we can kind of expect. And obviously that's going to depend on how much value you're giving and how good you are at, at maintaining them. But uh, I don't know, maybe, and, and this is the other thing that I'm not considering is that the scalability factor is it, it might outweigh, I, I don't know, it might like, offset that chart a little bit if that makes sense but that's kind of like the biggest thing you know it's like i can i know i can handle a handful of clients right now for minimal time throughout the entire month um for a good chunk of money and then but then to match that i'm going to need to obviously play the volume game and the retention game which i'm fine to, in the long term you know if, if i was like 18 months down the road and i was already there i mean that would be a beautiful situation and that's the perspective i know i need to have but um but yeah i guess you know maybe i don't dive full in right away or i slowly transition i, I just don't know how fast i can ramp that up but i, I know once that you know you, you said are you gonna do it yeah like once i commit like i'm gonna be in i'm gonna be doing it um you know i i'm pretty much already sold on your program i, I i'm probably gonna join today and 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 get started but um but yeah, I, I'm dragging my feet a little bit because of these factors. So let's make this real simple. You don't have to, you don't have to knee jerk. So when I went from agency model to like selling online courses and then eventually to this model here where it's like a hybrid mix where it's like a course inside of a paid membership program, you transition slowly. And there's a little pain there because you're, you're juggling, right? But it's not anything heavy or hard. We're not moving piles of rock or anything, right? It's just a mental game. But what, what's beautiful is the transition happens with everybody that you're dealing with. So here's what happens. You start, you, you put the program together, which you'll learn how to do in Build Lab. And once you get the program together, it's just version one. You're going to make version two, et cetera, et cetera. And you're going to keep it lean, mean, and scrappy when you start. But here's what happens. There's, you know, 52 weeks in a year. If you were to just get, I don't know, let's just say two people a week, right? So 104 people, um, you know, at the end of the year paying you, let's say 97, 100 bucks a month, okay? So there's 100 times 100, all right? Now, you're, 
this is okay. You're just building this on the side. You got to understand the only thing that's really happening with the membership group is a, you don't, I don't even ever think about retention. I, that's, it's nothing. It's nothing that even appears on my radar. I know that the average retention rates, you just, I just suspect to lose about 5% per month. And that doesn't even happen. Mm. The people that are in there. Okay. It's not like a volume game. I'm in this for the long haul, right? So I know that, you know, if in, let's just say to be real, like outlandish here, let's say it took five years from today for you to get a thousand people paying 97 bucks a month. Okay. I don't know how old you are, but in five years, you're going to be five years older than you are now. And you'd have, let's say 97,000 a month recurring revenue coming in. <laughs> with like 90, you know, five plus percent margins of profit. <laughs> right? And all you're yeah. doing is, you know, like for me each week, unless I'm doing something like this, I mean, I, you know, outside of me creating some content each day, which, you know, I'm done with that by, well, I can get that all done in a few hours if I want. Right. All I'm <laughs> doing is I'm maintaining my membership in a way that I'm just, making sure my product, I'm always, you know, like this morning, I'm just thinking like, how can I make pillar two better? How can I make video two and pillar two better? So I'm thinking about that, which is fun because it's like innovation. And then the only thing that I'm doing is once a day, I'll jump into the community for like an hour. Sometimes it's not even all at once. It's like 20 minutes here, 10 minutes here. It's on my phone too. So like, if I see something, if somebody asks a question, they either a wait to get on the call on on Monday or Thursday, or they ask the question. And most of the time, the members answer the question before I even get to it. And I'm just like, yeah, that that was right, you know, or that or no, I would have done it this way. It's just simple. And then the other thing is, is I'm just twice a week I have to get on a, a Zoom for a couple hours, and like I literally love that. Like when I get on there, it tells me all the content that I need to create, you know, yeah. either for the the to make the products better or the product better or like content that I can use to attract new people on social media. I get people all the time, man, you're like, you're like talking to my soul. I'm like, not really. I mean, I, you know, I have a bunch of people <laughs> that tell me their problems and they're just like you, you know? So, yeah. um, you know, that makes it easy. I work on like, man, how could I maybe improve my follow-up emails or what kind of cool newsletter? Like it's very, I mean, in the past, like 90 days, I've been in like so many different locations you know, it's, it's got that location freedom, but you slowly phase out and listen, I still have some big clients that I work with that have paid me, you know, 10 grand a month to, to help them. And every once in a while, they just hit me out of the blue. Cause the bigger the client, it seems like the less maintenance they need. I'll hear from them every once in a while. They just want to know something in five, 10 minutes. And they're like, Oh, thanks. And they just keep going. Yeah. You can, th there's the way to th the ability to monetize when you have a group like this is unreal and ah. I'm getting ready to go. I'm getting ready to go to a uh, mastermind with Michelle and uh, it's going to be in November, end of November where it's, you know, there's this uh, event style type thing that you can do and it's all leveraged. Like everything that we do is very, very, very leveraged. And it's not, you know, you're not cutting corners you know, the, the model and movement that I have in my mind is like, I want to work less time. I want to spend more time with friends and family. I want to do less of the stuff that I don't like to do and hate doing. And I want to explore the world. But at the same time, I can, I can help, I mean, thousands and thousands of people just sharing stuff that's real common to me. I can help them and you know, if I help a thousand, a hundred thousand, a million people by the end of my life to live a little bit sweeter of a life, or at least do a little bit more of what they love to do, what is that actually worth? Right. So that is huge to me. All you have to do is not make it such a heavy lift. Just be like, I'm still going to run my agency and I'm going to build this thing over here at the same time, sharing it with the people in my agency, not for the fact that they're going to just quit paying me a thousand bucks a month or 2000 or whatever, and just join this thing. That doesn't happen. That's just an idea in your mind that you think will happen. 
Mm-hmm. They're just going to learn about it. And as you're, as you're taking what you're doing over here, you use that as fuel to say, guys, you're just documenting what you're doing. You say, guys, this is why I know I can help you with this, right? Like I have, I have these clients that I'm working with all the time. And I thought, man, how could I help more people like this that I don't have access to or that I don't have time to? So that's why I built this. And now all of a sudden mm-hmm. you have a reason why you started it. And it just, one thing will feed the other and then it will tell you what to do. It, you don't have to wonder, well, how will I make this transition? You just do it. And then it will, it'll trans, it'll do its own transition. It evolves the way it needs to, because it'll tell you the actual results of what are happening will tell you what to do. And actually the way you're sitting right now is probably one of the most beautiful ways to even get started in something like this. Mm. Man, yeah, this is this is good stuff. And uh, yeah, as, as I've been, I, I, like I said, I've been watching your stuff for a while now, but especially the past month or so, I've just been thinking, man, I, I hate you, man. You sold me. You got me. I, <laughs> I, 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 I know I have to do this, but I've been dragging my feet. And um, yeah, today is no different. I hate you for that, and love you. Yeah, <laughs> it's thank you. It's it's a total. Yeah, no, I totally understand what you're what you're going through. It's it's such a one thing that I used to do is, is maybe what you're doing uh, from what I'm hearing is like, yeah, well, how do I, you know, do both or make the transition? And I was like, why are you don't have to think like that? That's what I was telling myself. I'm like, <laughs> you don't have to even think like that. How about you just build the other one while you're building this? And yeah, there's going to be a little bit of growing pains, which whatever. I mean, again, we're not digging holes or, you know, mining ore. like, <laughs> you know, there's nothing heavy about what we're doing here. It's just mental capacity to, you know, do it. But I was like, you know what, I'm just going to build both. And then as I moved, it just transitioned itself. I didn't even have to worry about it. Everything I was worried about didn't even happen, not even close to happening. And I started building this other community up and it was just like, all of a sudden, you know, you've got almost 400 members are paying like 97 a month. And then you've got the, and then there's other ways to monetize. Listen, you can create one-off products. Hey, some people just want to know a simple thing in an hour or less. You can sell that for hundred bucks, 50 bucks. You know, maybe you only sell three a day over the course mm-hmm. of a year. Well, you just made 50 to hundred grand too off something that Definitely. you made that was an hour long and it's inside of your members area because that's what I do. It's like, Everything that I create as a one-off just goes inside a build lab. So I'm like, you can buy this thing, you know, for this much, or you just join build lab and you get everything and you're a part of my membership in there. And then for them to be paying 97 bucks a month, it, they get, you know, my rule is like, whatever you're selling should be worth 10 times more than what you're asking. Mm -hmm. To be in build lab, if you join at the monthly rate, it's like $3 a day. So, you know, <laughs> you're going to spend that on something stupid today anyway. <laughs> mm-hmm. So you could just spend it with me and at least you're going to learn how to build a six and seven figure uh, business. Right. And, or more like, again, I mean, you're a young guy. I can tell. Um, just, just imagine even if you built it slowly and you just got one member a week and they stayed with you and then, you know, it, it builds upon itself, right? It slowly, it grows and you just, you treat it like a farm. But imagine even in 10 years, imagine how old you would be, which is, I can tell not old. And you <laughs> had, what if, yeah, 35. Okay. I'm 38. If, if in 10 years, I'm, I'm 30 right now, I'll be, I'll be 35. <laughs> oh, you'll be 35. So even, even crazy. Okay. So I, I'll be 38. Okay. And I'm like, I feel I could go beat my 30 year self up. I could knock him down. He wouldn't even have a chance against me, right? So it's like in 10 years, if I'm 48 and I have 10,000 members paying 97 a month and I have to get on two calls a week. Yeah, yeah that's, that's crazy. But I can travel anywhere I want. I'm making a difference. I'm actually helping people. I'm getting to do what I love to do. I love this stuff. Like I would do it, it paid or not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> no brainer. And you can always do the big client thing. I could take yeah. on clients right now. I could take on five clients at 10 grand each. Mm-hmm. I have time. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Thank you. This is super helpful. Right. Good brother. I'm here for you. 
All right, so we got, I got another awesome, awesome question. If you have more questions, I'm still here. Okay, so uh, Virtus says, hey there, I work in the games industry. My sector, there are multiple paths and programs for students to follow, cool. How do you manage multiple courses with multiple weekly sessions? Would you run multiple weekly or are they all combined into one across the courses? Uh, potentially a follow-up question. I hear a new software I've not heard of in other videos. School, I think it is. Can system not support this hybrid system? No, system can support the hybrid system. Um, school is school is literally like system is designed for pretty much anything you want to sell: e-commerce, physical products, digital products. Uh, they do have a community aspect. Um, they do have the course aspect. The thing I love about school, and there's multiple things that can do this, right? Uh, I'm just, I'm answering these questions in reverse. Um, good questions, by the way. You guys have all been incredible. Thank you for joining me, all, all of you. <laughs> so um, the school is, you know, as I was, as I was saying to Chandler, you know, I'm, I, I've been with Sam for a long, long time. And I just know who he is and he understands exactly what it is that we do. So he's building out a platform that in, right now it's in its infancy. Soon you won't have to use Wistia. You can just upload your, your stuff straight to school. Like school will be this all encompassing, all like just one single thing that you need. And it's going to work just the way it needs to for information. People like ourselves that sell, we sell our knowledge, right? So that's why I use school. You can make this happen with a lot of different platforms, but school is extremely easy and it just, it works exactly as you would imagine or want a program to work for you if you're, if you're selling courses and membership sites. So, um, you know, I love it. It's, it's got an incredible uh, affiliate program with it. And the guy behind it is at its core, he truly understands this, this game and this model, you know, very, very well. So, um, and I just believe in him and, uh, he's changed my life, you know, all that stuff. So now I, I use both. <laughs> I use system because I like to create landing pages like I did today. If you came from my email, or even if you came from social media, that page that I, that I had my little, you know, uh, loom video on and the button, that was just a system page, right? So I like system because it's very simple, it's very affordable, and it just operates in a way that I like. So I think those two together work beautifully. You can put your courses on there. You can use it however you want. I'll show you and help you with both. Let's go to your first question. So you're in the games industry. You're in multiple paths and programs for students to follow. How do you manage multiple courses with multiple weekly sessions? When I hear that, I have two things that go through my head. Number one, the first thing that goes through my head is, can those things be combined? That's the first thing. Because if they can, it's better to combine them if they can, number one. Number two, I ask myself, which one, if I had to only pick one, which one would I pick? Because putting all of your um, power into one thing is going to almost a 99% of cases outdo multiple things, okay? Now you can always do multiple things. And if you're already too deep in multiple things, then you have a little bit of a, an adjustment that you'd have to make, or you would have to decide, you know, what you really, really wanted to do long-term, which is where I want you to be thinking. Um, and so I would say, uh, you know, like think about, for instance, you know, almost everybody that you ever look up to, right? They do one thing extremely well. And then once they have that thing under complete and utter, like almost like, you know, uh, unconscious control, <laughs> like it's happening unconsciously, you know, on its own, then they'll go out, you know, uh, Amazon, right? You know, PayPal for Musk, like he started there. And then like from there, he, he went in and they've got these teams and everything. Uh, Tiger Woods, you know, he, 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 it was not like every once in a while, he's like, oh, maybe I'll do formula one racing or whatever. Okay. Uh, even Michael Jordan, you know, he tried to go to baseball and it just, he didn't, it didn't even come close to his basketball thing. So 
this is really the case, right? So you need to decide, can the, are these things so much the same that they can be combined? Because if they can, and you can bring them all into one place, then that could be even more powerful for them. And managing it becomes very simple. They're all in one place. They all get one weekly or two weekly Q&A calls that they get on. And they all have this base program that they can go through. Or, you know, in, in what I love about school is in the classroom, you can have multiple products and programs in there. And actually, let me show you. I'm going to pull this up for you guys. Um, I'll just give you like a, a sneak peek behind the scenes of what school, what people don't see in school. Um, or sorry, in build lab inside of school is when I go to like classrooms here. Okay. So if you're looking at school from the outside or sorry, build lab from the outside, all you see, and I'm going to pull this up here. I know you guys can't see it. Um, here we go. So when you get inside of build lab, you know, all you can see is this build lab here, but I have all these things in the background. So you can have multiple courses in the background but nobody sees these only the people that need to see them right but all you see is build lab you get in here to build lab and this is inside of the school program okay so i've got my community here i've got my calendar here's the members you can do all kinds of neat stuff and right now you can integrate your school straight with stripe and people can literally you know sign up right there uh, on the like if they go to the about page here it's 97 a month, right? They can join at the monthly rate and do that. I actually have a, um, you know, I actually have the system. I'm using system.io uh, for my landing pages and stuff because I give a lifetime access and, and things like that will change in here too. But you have this calendar where every, you know, people can register for the calls. Like we just did the one yesterday. I recorded that and put it here in the community. You can see here. Um, this was yesterday's call that we did. We got on there and very good session that we had. People are, you know, the, when people come in, they can introduce themselves. They can put their, I ask them to share their workstation. This is one of our guys. He's a, he teaches people how to do trading uh, online and stuff like that. And then, um, you know, everybody in here can talk about all the different things. People that have questions, they can introduce themselves. People that have wins. I'm also in here always giving people things and this, I'm sharing this with you because this is what you can do. And then in the classroom, you know, you've got build lab and this is the second version. I'm getting ready to rebuild the next version as well. But inside of here, you know, I talk about the vision of what this looks like, how it lays out. Then I go over the model. Okay. And we talk about the actual model and what's going on. And all of these, I give you the summary doc and I have uh, all the transcript in here because then it's searchable. You know, I can come up here and I can put like VSL and I can click that and it says there's 32 places in the classroom. Okay, so the actual course where I talk about VSL, like the video sales letter. And in the community, there's 174 places where I mentioned VSL or, or members mentioned VSL in here. So there is, you know, finding the answer to your question is like, you, you're gonna find it very quickly. So let me go back. Um, then, you know, I go over the mindset of this type of business that, you know, how to think about your daily workflow, um, how to go in and, and really just understand this model so that you can grab it and run. Then we go into your niche, creating your perfect, who's your perfect customer, getting that dialed in, getting your message figured out, your offer. Then I go into the roadmap here where I teach you how to dump everything out, do the brain dump, refine your roadmap, finalize your roadmap. These are your products. And then we get into generating your lead magnet, your email automations, the first iron hot emails that go out when they join um, or when they subscribe. Then we do your offer amplifier video or your VSL video. So this is your sales video and things like that. Uh, then we go into the automated machine, the content flywheel, you know, how to create content. And then I go into, you know, maximizing brand impact. That's like how to do outsourcing if you want to use that. Um, and then I just got some bonus materials. And then at the end, I ask you to share a testimonial with me. Um, but this is amazing, right? And so this thing happens uh, all the time. They can come up here and register for the weekly call. They can ask questions. And it's just beautiful. The, you know, the people, there's, there's me and Frank back in the day. Heck, I had hair there. <laughs> so, you know, the, it's, a, it's a great place for everybody to get, get along. Like, you know, here she she injected like, I think 15 grand into her program. She just got on a Q and a call 
and uh, got a little information there and, you know, was able to, to crush things out. And so anyway, uh, you can have people review your stuff in here. You can have all those things happening and you can do the exact same thing with your own program. So if everybody was in one spot, then you could help everybody together if that's possible. If that is not possible, running multiple weekly Q&A calls, what I would do, because um, I've been in that position too, believe it or not, um, I plan mine to be back to back. So I have my two days. I like Monday and Thursday just because, you know, there's never more than like three days that people have to wait to get, get on live with me for support. So you, you know, every Monday they can get on every Thursday. When I had multiple programs before I like said, no, this, I need to combine it or I just need to focus on one thing. Um, I would just do, it would be like, you know, on Monday I do 6 p.m. Central time. So I would do on the, on the other call for the other program I had, I just did it a couple hours ahead of that. So it was just like, boom, boom. And then eventually I was like, this is, there's, I'm not, there's no reason to do this. If I go all in on the one thing, then it, it over maximizes. Now I just got done talking to Chandler and saying, you don't need your, you don't have to go in all in one. When you're making a transition from something, you, you do have to do, you kind of got to juggle two things until you get one, you know, the one pathway figured out, right? The ultimate pathway. But your goal should be to get really, really powerful on one thing. And here's the other thing I want to share with you guys. I'm not here to tell you what your appetite for income is or what's possible or whatever. But most people, if I ask them, hey, you know, what? how much do you want to make? Oh, you know, a million a year or a million a month or whatever. And maybe you make that already. I don't know how much you're earning or what you're doing. If after all the bills... And after all, you, you know, you pay Uncle Sam and you do all that stuff. If you have a, if you have 50,000 in wet, cold cash every month, it's really hard to spend all that unless you, you have to have, you know, Gucci underwear or what, you know, if like, which you, do, you know, even then you'll be like, all right, you know, that, that stuff goes away, you know, um, and, and I'm saying that in the sense of like, it's almost like when you were younger um, and you couldn't like drink beer or something like you wanted to drink beer. And then when you were old enough to drink beer, you didn't want to drink it or like you didn't go, you know, it wasn't like that impressive anymore or whatever. It kind of happens that way with, with the money, right? At 50 grand a month. Okay. Just imagine at 50 grand a month, you can pretty much live anywhere, uh, eat wherever you want to eat, wear just about whatever you want to wear outside of, you know, diamond studded underpants or something. Um, or, you know, you can, you can drive whatever you can, you can go wherever you can stay in most any hotel or like visit any country. Like, so I say that because imagine just having, like I said, a thousand people that paid you 97 bucks a month, even after you, you know, let's just say you give half of it away and you have your $45,000 of cold, hard profit afterwards but it's residual and you're working where you have to get on twice a week with your, with your people. Okay. Just, you know, that can happen very quickly. Right. Um, and you can keep building and building and building, you know, at some point there'll be, you know, thousands of people on build lab. And if I just focus there, and I get extremely good at helping people start, grow, and monetize an internet business, or in your case, with the games uh, sector that you're in. If you just really become the person there and you focus on helping just your person, just imagine, you know, it, like I was saying with Chandler, what, what if it took five years to transition Chandler? You know, like what if it took five years? You kept making what you're making as an agency, but you just every Every month, it's not, it doesn't take five years. I'm trying to make you really think in a way that like, okay, I see it now, right? What if one year you had a thousand people in two years? Chandler will be 32. <laughs> like, you know, 10 years ago, he could barely have a, a beer, you know, if you're living in the United States. Like, you know, most of us are going to live 
you know, unless something tragic happens, you're going to live for a while, you know, and you can be extremely good at what you do. You can, you know, mentally, you can calm your mind and focus and become the Tiger Woods of your little thing online in your program. I, you know, I don't want a big team. I don't really want a team, right? Um, I still, <laughs> yeah, you know, um, <laughs> that's a good point. You know, it's like, I mean, but that's, that's the point I want you to have and make. You know, I know that's funny and, and, you know, I can't, I can't grow hair. So, um, but the thing is, is I want you to, like I said, for me, build lab is like a movement, like the make once movement, make it once, sell it twice. You can make something once and you can sell it over and over and over again. I, I want to work less because I want to, you know, I'm only here for so long on this ball, you know, earth. And it's like, when we look at why we're working and producing and generating things, most of us, you know, we, we just want freedom. We want to be able to hang out with our friends and family, enjoy a healthy life, eat some good food, you know, stay in some night, stay in a nice, you know, place that is comfortable and enjoyable, have some nice views, you know, <laughs> like, I don't know if you guys, I'm just sitting here and I'm watching, like, I don't know if you can even see it, but I'm just like watching the Dallas traffic and, you know, just checking this stuff out here next week. I'm going to be in, you know, Arizona. We just got back from Mexico for 10 days, staying on like the 15th floor of this, you know, condo. And, you know, then we're going to be heading to like Europe and, you know, straight. and all I have to focus on is helping you start growing, monetize an internet business. I'm not worried about what anybody else is doing out there. I just care about what you're doing and how I can help you get there. And you can have that exact same thing. You can do that exact same thing. You know, my goal every day is I want to work from like nine to two, 9 a.m. to two. And I enjoy it. I get to create content. I can work on making my product better. I can work on making my message sharper and better. I can go live and, you know, do this kind of stuff with you. And I just plan on getting really, really good at that. Okay. Golf's been around a long time. There's people, Tiger Woods is worth a billion plus from golf. Okay. It, no, there could be a thousand, you know, Alex Hermoses or Grant Cardones, and it wouldn't even come close to saturating the market. Not even close. If you take the amount of, there's 4.8 billion people that have access to the internet. 70% of the people that have access to the internet would have to join Build Lab for it to be saturated. <laughs> That's like, you just do the math on 70% of 4.8 billion. I would be, I would be richer than Elon Musk. You don't have to worry about saturation. You don't have to worry about none of those things. You need, if you pick one thing, get really good on one platform, this is all you need. I'm telling you. And if you can focus and become really good at something, I want to work nine to two. I got to do my non-negotiables every day. I have to make sure that I'm putting out content because as I was telling a dude, you can only produce so much content in your life. So every day that you don't produce a piece of content, you can't go back and produce that piece of content yesterday. So if you don't, that's just one one less moment or one less piece of material out there that could help you find somebody that you can actually help. Because that's all we're focused on is helping people solve problems. And if we help everybody else solve problems in the way that we can and know how to do, all our problems go away. Do you ever worry about free content versus paid content overlaps? Nope, I don't. And I'll tell you guys a little secret here. Every don't ever work. People aren't people don't join Build Lab because of the content. People join Build Lab because they want accountability, they want support, they want community. You know, it's like a country club, right? You can go golf at some golf course. But if you join a country club, you get more amenities. There's a social aspect to it. There's a club. They're a part of a club. 
people like to be a part of something. Okay. And what I want you to understand is people do not buy digital products because they can't find the information somewhere. Although it's nice. Thanks for the thumbs up, Virtus. Virtus. <laughs> Sorry if I'm jacking your guys' names up. You know me. If you're here, you, you know me. <laughs> Just a good old boy. Um, I love you. But the thing is, is like, I used to think that too. It's not a free versus paid thing. Like everybody knows how to do a sit up or push ups or go do lat pull downs or bench press or curls. You know, everybody knows how to do that, but they still go buy a trainer. Why? Because they need somebody to help them and help hold them accountable. And usually when you get a trainer they're it's not the best trainer in the world. There's millions of trainers. It's just somebody that you get along with and that you follow and they are where you want to be eventually, right? Most trainers, hopefully, are in the kind of shape that you want to be in. <laughs> you know? um, so, you know, that's that's what I tell you. Now, you know, back in my martial arts days, you know, I had, you know, over a thousand clients that paid me anywhere from, you know, 2000 to $5,800. And then I had an agency prior to that, whereas, you know, two to 10 grand a month. And now this is what I'm doing, right? So I made, you know, I made good money, made over seven figures and, and set myself to do this. I could start all over from zero again and build this thing up. And I'm building this thing up in a way where I'm, I'm around the people that I want to hang out with every day. You people here with me, Chandler, Abdu, Virtus, you're my people. That's why you're here. And I know we're going to, like, I instantly felt like a new Chandler. I instantly felt like he's my people. And I'm sure, and same with Abdu, when I talked to him, instantly. It's like, I could go, we could all go out and have a coffee. And, it, like, we would all just get along, you know. And that's the beauty of, like, building something like this. And so, worrying about uh, free or paid, that's, it's, um, I used to feel that same way, like, and think about that. And you know, you can go over to Alex Hermosi's website right now and you can buy all, or you can get access to all this free content. But everybody knows how to do a sit-up, but they don't do it. They need accountability. And people need community and support and a club aspect. Like, when you think of building this hybrid type program, I mean, I know people that just sell a $150 program that's like an hour long and they do $4 million a year. You know, you can, for me, I'm, i just want to, I want to provide the best that I can provide and show people how to do what I've learned how to do. And I want to get better at it and better at it and better at it. And I just want to build up a very strong, huge community. And there's so many ways to monetize this. So many ways to monetize it. Tons of ways to monetize it. Okay. So it's never a problem, like a, it's not a money problem, right? I get to do every day what I love to do. I get to help people the way I want to help people. And I get to grow a strong community. And I'm, I'm more focused on building a movement of people that don't want to have to have a boss. They want to be able to explore earth and go see things. And they want to help people. They want to work less but do more. They have the leverage. And I just literally on my deathbed, you know, I think of it like, you know, because I focused and because I simplified and just got really good at this thing that people want to know, you know, how to make money on the internet with digital products and paid memberships that I helped, you know, however many people it is, I don't care how many people it is, the more the, the merrier, obviously. But on my deathbed, I can say, you know what? 10 people or a hundred people or a thousand people or a million people lived a better life because I focused on, on this. And when you take that approach to it, you know, think about like a, a, an Elon Musk, right? He was building PayPal with um, what's that other guy. He built, uh, wrote the book, the one I always forget his name, um, but another super smart dude. And you know, when they were building that, Peter Thiel, yeah, there we go. The, thank you. <laughs> so they were building that thing and sold it for, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars. And think about it. He then went on to start, you know, Tesla and, and, and SpaceX. And obviously Elon Musk, you know, some 
alien from another universe or something. I don't know, but you know, amazing what he's been able to accomplish and whatever. But the point is money is not the issue. You'll, it'll be there. If you're helping people, you'll have more than you can spend. Okay. It, um, that's never the thought process. It becomes more about like, I only have so much time and, you know, I want to enjoy what I do and, and I want to love waking up and helping people. And when you have that feeling it come to you, it, it's like, then the money really comes and you don't have to worry about it. And you feel, you go to bed feeling great. You wake up feeling great and you're happy. And people say, you know, what do you do? And you instantly just say, this is what I do. And this is how I help people. And you keep building a better mousetrap kind of thing, right? It's like you keep building, you know, I think about it like the 911 turbo. I always think about the, the Porsche. It's like they've been building the same car for longer than I'll even live. Like what I mean by that is like if I kept building Build Lab right now until the day I die, like, I mean, if I get another 50 years well, you know, that's great. You know, I'll be 88 years old. Right. Um, and hopefully, you know, <laughs> I can, you know, I'm not trying to bow out early or whatever, but you know, 88 years old, you're kind of like, you know, <laughs> I don't know, you know, maybe hopefully, hopefully, you know, things I'm, I'm still powered up and going, you know, but let's be honest. So if, if I keep doing that, how good can it get? How many people can it impact and help? And it's like, look, look at the engineering that went into that same car. Like, how do you keep making this thing better? Like, do you realize they keep, they they just keep making this thing and it's little tiny changes. People are like, oh, it's not that big of a change. Well, it's a damn good thing already. Like, how do you, you know, it's like, but they do and it keeps getting better. And you know how many of these they just sold? Like, I just got the new one. It's coming. This thing is perfectly fine. <laughs> you know, it's, it's so that's what happens with your thing. Uh, Channel says this accountability community structured approach is true. I know I am capable of this. Oh, 100%. Uh, I am capable of this. Uh, my, my scared self just wants someone's permission to commit. Well, I give you full permission. You, you have more, you have m more ability you had more ability a year ago than is necessary to do this. People have this thing called, um, I've heard it called a lot of things. The thing I like to call it is just knowledge blindness. You think things that are common sense to you and just common things are completely abstract, complicated, and crazy to somebody else. And you just need to value your information and just, just do it. Right. Like, what's the worst that could happen? You know, <laughs> nothing like you just are going to learn some stuff. But if you just follow, um, you know, somebody that's already kind of been down the road, like with Build Lab, if you want to do that thing, if you want, I just teach you how to do what I do every day. And every day that I get better, I go and enhance th that part of it to help you do better. And, you know, it's a beautiful thing. It's a self-reinforcing thing. You can absolutely 100 percent do this. You just need to do it and just don't look back. And pretty soon you'll be, you'll be sitting there looking out the window at whatever you want to look at someday or whatever. And you're going to go, how, how do I even get here? You know, you'll, and all, because all I focus on whenever I'm feeling scared or whenever I'm feeling worried or whatever, I go, Mike, whoa, whoa, whoa hold on. This isn't about you. It's about Chandler. It's about Virtus. It's about Abdu. It's about your members. So how can you help them today? You know, how, could you, how could you improve something in your message or marketing or landing page to do better? And then all of a sudden my brain shifts and things happen. And that's how I want to help you focus is it's not about you. If you're worried, it's because you're thinking about yourself. And, and the way this works is you help others. So you, if you focus on them, then your problems go away, okay? This is for real. I always, I don't know. I went and seen Zig Ziglar when I was like 18 or 19. Somebody made me go. I don't know who. I was like, I think it was actually like an ex-girlfriend or something. She's like, you're always listening to Tony Robbins and stuff. There's this guy, Zig Ziglar. I'm like, Zig Ziglar? 
and like so i gotta go and it was like right before he passed away and he goes if you if you help everybody else solve their problems your problems just magically go away and doors open for you and and i just thought man wow what a whether that's true or not that seems pretty good maybe i'll just do that so every day that i wake up with build lab or my business or content marketing or anything i'm just like what what could i create today that would help chandler you know be one percent more committed what what could i how could i share you know and just give away the information because i know even if i gave away everything inside of build lab for free number one people wouldn't know <laughs> so people would be like well he obviously he wouldn't give that information away for free but then at the same time i know that people aren't coming to me because they can't figure out how to create a landing page, you can Google that today, right now, or how to do email automations. There's free everything everywhere. People come to me because they want accountability. They want community. They want to be a part of something. They want to rub shoulders with other people that are like them. They want implementation, right? And so when you, and then if you don't even worry about that, right? You have a program, you have a product, you share it with people, you tell them why it matters, why it's good. And you just focus on being extremely helpful and solve problems for people. You, you won't have to worry about the money or the time or anything. It just, it comes to you. And so it's important that you obviously find something that you're very passionate about and that you care about. Um, and sometimes you just have to pick something if you don't know what that is. And you have to just love what you do. And you just have to care about what you do. And when you just start and do something, if you just try to keep improving it or you just look at it as like, okay, cool. Well, obviously I can make this better. I could show them something or I could teach them something more about this. All of a sudden it, it, it starts to just almost take care of itself because you're acting. Thinking, okay, but acting is one thing. You know, you can only read so much about how to ride a bike. Eventually, you just have to ride it and crash it and be like, oh, crap. <laughs> you know, and then like, wait, lean this way a little bit more next time that feels that way. You know, and and that's the way it is here, too. But you just can't be. I always ask myself, you know, what's the worst that could really happen? You know, and can I accept that? And I just nothing I, I can't. I don't know. And if you just listen to people and answer their questions it things take care of themselves and just show up and have fun you know if you want freedom you need a schedule right it's kind of neat like that if you if you want um if you don't want any problems you just help everybody else solve theirs and, and yours take care of themselves it's crazy right this is pretty cool okay so virtue says um what do you think of youtube membership i i don't have a lot of experience with youtube membership but when I hear the word membership, you know, it's people are paying you, right, um, for information. So I just like to have everybody in Build Lab, um, you know, inside of there. So I'm sure, you know, it, it can be great. I just feel like I have a little bit more control of distraction-free uh, experiences with Build Lab because there's not things trying to distract you in there. You know, it's designed just for that particular thing that we're doing. Um, is there a case for people seeing the videos they are missing out, uh, especially if they are already consuming your free YouTube content? Um, let me see here. Uh, especially if they, is there a case for people seeing the videos they are missing out? Hey man, sh shall I elaborate? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Help me. Help me. Uh, hard to find an environment for it. Yeah. So like um, on YouTube membership, um, when someone's watching free content, they can often see the premium content at the bottom. Mm. And then that could be like the indicator for them to subscribe. Mm -hmm. Do you think there'd be value in that compared to something like um, like email marketing systems and things like that? You know, um, I guess for me to give you my best like advice on, on, or answer to the question, my first thing would be like, what are you, like, what is the end goal that you're trying, like, what are you trying to accomplish? Like if we, if, 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 
forget about the systems that we could use or the softwares and tools, like ultimately, like what outcome are you trying to achieve? Yeah, so well, so my in my case, it's um, I've been in the games industry and then teaching people how to get through that process. Um, so I'm trying, but the thing is, it's got multiple avenues. So you can learn things like sculpting. We have something called retopology that's like multiple disciplines. Um, but trying to combine that in a way with memberships uh, where people can ask questions, but also um, like subscribe to those courses, if that makes sense. So I think I think what YouTube is there is like it's a bit of a distraction because all these there's these nice just hybrid systems that feed nicely into each other. But then there's YouTube there, which is attractive at the same time, but it doesn't have those like inline courses. Mm -hmm. So what's neat about school is you can have in like say somebody joins, they can join, um, and they can only get access to certain things, right? So if they pay you know, they can have access to this. If they don't pay, they can have the free access, but there's no distractions to go anywhere else. So I guess when I think about what you're doing, if it were me, like if, if I had to just solve this problem right now for myself, what I would do is I would say, well, if I have multiple things, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to create separate classroom, like in the classroom, kind of how I showed you all those different things back there. I would just create a separate one for each of the objectives that I have or what people are paying for. And then if they paid for this, they would get this. If it was supposed to be free content, I would just put that in the community for them for free. And I would just say, Hey, if you're, you know, I'm just, let's call it red, blue, and green. Uh, these are the different programs. I would say, hey, the call for the red program happens on Monday. The call for the green program happens on Wednesday. The call for the, you know, blue program happens on Thursday or whatever. And I, and I'd have those free calls or the, you know, the calls they could get on if we, if I did weekly live calls for them. And then I just use like YouTube, TikTok. I just whatever social media platform. I I really like TikTok and YouTube just because I'm kind of video forward. I'm of of a person. I video is easy for me. Um. I just go there and that's where I put my content. Like when we get off of here, I'm going to post my three pieces of content that those are kind of like my non-negotiables. And then after that, you know, I wanted to work on some, a lead magnet thing that I've got an idea for. And I wanted to work on the email follow-ups for it. It's just stuff like that. And then I'm just probably going to shut down around three, <laughs> go, go eat some food or something and hang out. So um, when I, I, I just tell you that because a lot of the problem that maybe seems like it's there, you just need a place to put these people that are paying you or maybe not paying you, but will eventually. And you just need to have the information they want in like a classroom or a course and just give them access to it. And then just say, Hey guys, on, on this day, we do the weekly call or, um, you know, cause it sounds like to me, like you're wanting to do a membership right or you already do yes so in games it's like um so you can sell courses which people want to learn a, a specific skill um mm. but heavily incorporated that is like things like feedback sessions where people have unique problems and you usually go on on live with them to sort it out um but that obviously okay. it overlaps on multiple courses so yeah I so think this the is good I've been no, I, I kind of want to interrupt you there so I don't get distracted yeah, no through worries. other ideas. Sorry. <laughs> but the what I would do then is this is simple. So you could have individual courses that are for the specific skills that they're trying to learn. And then you could say, hey, guys, for X dollars a month, something affordable, right? There's lots of people. You know, I mean, you know this, especially like in what you're doing. So, you know, you could say, hey, guys, for, you know, if you want access to special uh, live Q&A, special support that's live and and you want access to all the previous recordings and everything like that, you know, it's 10, 20, 30 bucks, whatever, you you know, whatever w would be affordable for them. Um, and then they could have access to that. And then that when they like, so, for instance, let's say they pay to have access to your school group, you know, games, whatever you could call it, whatever. Um they pay, you know, $10 a month for that. And those people are just like, 
in all of your different courses, but the ones that are in there, it's like, it doesn't matter what topic comes up. You can cover it anyway, because you created the courses on everything or whatever. That's how I would do that. You could just have like a separate membership over here for those people that wanted the extra stuff. And then you could have the, the courses over here, standalone. Maybe you put the courses just on system um, as a standalone one-off course, which, you know, I'm going to be doing some of that stuff too. I'm like, I'm just taking apart Build Lab and I'm going to sell it in pieces. Like if they want just the content uh, flywheel, they can 150 bucks or $147. You can buy just that. And then I'll say, but if you want the weekly Q and A's and you want the rest of everything else, then you can join Build Lab for a one-time payment of, you know, after tomorrow, $7.99 or $97 a month, whichever. And then that's how I'm going to, to do that. Um, so you could do the same thing there too. You know, I talked to a guy yesterday. Uh, he has 30,000, <laughs> he has 30,000 people paying $10 a month and he teaches, what was it that he, something odd, like, oh, it was like how to transfer from one part of a job to another part or something like that in some foreign thing. I was like, so, it was so niche is what I'm saying. And yet he had 30,000 and it took him a couple of years, but 30,000 people paying 10 bucks a month, you know? So, um, and I hate to make it a money thing, but it's like, it, it will, that it's all there for you. When I think about you, I would just have all my courses. If they're standalone courses, like individual skill packets, then just keep them individual courses and skills. And then just have your, have like your VIP club or, you know, your country club where you can join for X amount of dollars. It's kind of like Netflix, you know, um, that's how I would think about that thing. And I would just use either school or, you know, you could, you could do, uh, you could do system too, but I would just use school. You know, it's like, it's perfect for you. You have the calendar in it. You can add the classroom. There's a gamification thing in there because you can say, Hey, whoever gets to this level, it unlocks these other things. And, and I teach all that stuff in build lab, but you know, that's what I would do. Um, it's distraction free. There's an app for it. You know, it's, it's very simple. It's very easy to use. I don't know if that helps. That's awesome. I'm going to choose for that. No, no, it's really cool. Yeah. It sounds like you'd have a very broad topic, like getting from one point to another, say, uh, entry into the games industry. You just attach a membership to that, maybe have a couple of videos, which would introduce that entire, uh, road to El Dorado. And then you would just sort of like sell bits along the way. Mm -hmm. And then they would all feed back into the membership of that, that journey. That's what it sort of sounds like. That is exactly what it is. And just have the, you know, and that's how I do build lab. You know, it's like, listen, you can have everything I ever create by joining build lab. Or if you just want bits and pieces of it, you can buy it one off over here. And I'm just building that in the background. I just haven't released it. Um, but I'm taking all the core aspects of Build Lab and they'll be able to buy it just as like a one-off, but I know how it goes. People will buy it. They'll get the information and answer and then they'll want to talk to me or they'll want you know the, the live aspect or they'll want the community aspect or they'll want the other programs that are in there and available to them or the whole spiel and they can join at 97 a month. You know, they can quit whenever they want. They can join whenever they want. You know, it's like, or if they get lifetime access by building the, you know, by buying the lifetime, then they can just, they can just do that. Right. Um, you know, so yeah, you, there's, like I said, there's so many ways to monetize it at some point uh, with build lab, you know, I'm going to be, I wanted to do once a quarter, I wanted to meet with people, you know, wherever I'm at on the globe here, you know, I, I wanted to do like a mastermind. I wanted to rent like a, a really nice Airbnb or, you know, one of those rental type deals and just rent a big location. And for three days, we all hang out in the same room and, and try to, you know, just make everybody better and, and get along and have, you know, connections all over the place. And, um, you know, so and, and I'll charge a little bit for that for people to show up and, you know, the, everything will be catered, blah, 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 you know, all this stuff. So, again, you know, uh, what's a typical conversion rate on a VSL for a group like this? About, I mean, well, on the VSL, um, my my personal benchmark based off, you know, doing VSLs for a long time uh, is 
five percent. Like I like, and that's pretty high. Your typical VSL is like anywhere from like one one to five percent. Five percent is really yeah, webinar, VSL, sales engine, it's all the same thing. Um yeah. Five percent is really good. Um anything above five percent is like you're you're starting to be kind of a weirdo, you know, you're like some strange conversion master, but um, you know, one to five percent. Here, here's the here's the easier math for you. Okay. Just know this, and and I have raw data on this, and I just call it the rule of one thousand. Out of a thousand leads, you should, even if you are pretty bad, <laughs> you should convert one to five percent of those leads into sales. I don't care how expensive it is. I don't care how inexpensive it is. Just know that for about every thousand leads, you will sell one to five percent of those leads. Five percent would be more on the affordable side, uh, you know, and one percent would be on the more expensive side or more complex type thing. Um, so you can shoot it down the middle on that. But just when somebody gets started with me, my first goal for them is like, let's get your first thousand leads, right? So you know, that's what, 30 leads a day in 30 days, basically. Because I know that if you get that first thousand leads, you're going to make 10 to 50 sales. And if you can do that, you can do that again the next month and the next month. And pretty soon it's like a thousand leads in a month. Then it becomes like a thousand leads in a half a month, <laughs> you know, as you, as you get better with your content and your lead magnets and things. And you know, you can build a newsletter and, you know, eventually people will pay you to just have access to your newsletter. Um, yeah, Verzo. So, hey, listen, I didn't mean to jump right off of you, but uh, you've got to the tip of my boat in the right direction for office, man. That's all I care about. I'm glad that you found value here. And thank you for asking your questions. If you have more questions, I'll, I'll hang out here for a little bit longer. Um, but thank you so much. Uh, and uh, great questions. So, that rule of 1000 is just for me, it's like, you know, if you can get, you know, my goal every day is like, I just want to get a hundred leads a day. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's kind of like the goal. And I just use organic content. I'm in this for the long haul though. I could turn on ads right now. I could do all that stuff and maybe I will someday. I don't know. I mean, I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on ads. Um, but I'm just like, you know what? I want to make my organic content so good that, um, you know, it just works. And the cool thing about or organic content is I can make it once and it keeps paying me over and over. It stays out there. Ads, the moment you stop paying the ads, they go away. And so I just want to build long-term, build the organic up and get better at my videos. Listen, I'm not good at content. You know, you've seen it. <laughs> it's, it's uh, you know, I'm just me and I just care. And you know, I don't worry about how much I'm giving away or not giving away. I just, I just try to help and it's never let me down doing that. And, um, I just focus on a thousand, you know, if you get a thousand leads, 10 to 50 sales, just figure it for every thousand leads, I'm going to, I'm going to make one to 5%. I'm going to convert one to 5% of those people. And, you know, Focus on getting a thousand true fans, like a thousand members. That should be your first big goal. And, you know, the other thing is like, I heard this rule of 100. Uh, it, it says, if you do something 18 minutes a day for an entire year, that's going to be like a hundred hours or something like that. So you will be better you will be more advanced and like above 95% of people in that particular thing. If, so you did something, let's say every day you practiced drawing a circle for 18 minutes every day. You, you, you practice drawing circles. By the end of one year, if you did that every day, you would be better at drawing circles than 95% of people on the planet. Okay. Um, now, I don't know how true that is, but this is some like super smart guy talking about economics and, and, you know, philosophy and, and all these things. And, and he said, you know, for 
it's just the rule of 100, what they've seen in case studies and scenarios and experiments and tests and what masters are compared to people that are not masters and experts and all this stuff. He said, if you do something um, 18 minutes a day for an entire year straight or a hundred hours or whatever, then you will be better at that thing than 95% of people on the planet. So, um, you know, take that for what it is and what you can do with your content and everything. So why don't you lean more on paid social for acquisition? Um, you know, I, it's always a hesit it's always a thing uh that i think about doing <laughs> but number one you know money wise i'm okay okay like i'm i'm good so it's not like you know if i made an extra 50 grand a month it wouldn't really change my life that much um i don't know you know what <laughs> I, I don't know what i would you know I don't know what I would get, maybe some diamond teeth or something. I don't know. Um, for me, when I was running ads and doing all that stuff, uh, there's a bad boy Ferrari driving by down there. Um, if I, me, I just want to build organically. Like, I feel like I just want to the 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 expenditure that I want to put out is I want to get really really good at content um I want to just create like when I think about leaving a legacy I don't really, I don't think about that at all but by the way but you know there's people that think about legacy and all that stuff for me when I finally bite the dust which could happen in the next 10 minutes I don't know <laughs> you know um but for me I just when I want to leave as much content out there as I possibly can. And it's like, the more I focus on that, the better it is. And for me, what happens with paid is, at least in my experience, is at a certain point, you can't spend more to make more. And, and, and the market keeps getting colder and colder and colder. And so then all of us it's like then you know your your ads they sh like with content it's slow right with ads it fires up quick and you can get started that way okay i did lots of ads uh back in the day and i made lots of money with it i'm not against ads at all but your ads go up and then pretty soon the ads start to do this and then you're hopefully you're doing content and the content does this right and you you have escape velocity if you want to fire up your members, like I could run ads right now and stuff a thousand members in build lab real fast. Okay. And if I, you know, if I was in a situation where, you know, I needed money like right away and had to do it, you know, maybe I would do that. <laughs> um, I probably would. Um, but I'm just building it organically and I really haven't been building very hard. Cause I'm building a lot of things in the background and um, you know, I'm putting a lot of time into that and I'm just slowly grabbing members here and there. And, you know, I like nobody's really quit, <laughs> uh, but it's, it's very inexpensive. You know, it's three bucks a day if you do the monthly or people will end up just paying the, the full, the lifetime, you know, or they'll pay like the, the, you know, so it's a nice, you know, 20 grand a month plus what I already have. And, you know, um, I've had all the nice cars and houses and things like that. I, it, uh, I mean, life is good for me and I'm very happy to be able to be living this life, you know? And so, to me, I'm not, I'm just, I don't, I'm not tripping on that. I'm just creating content. I want to get better and I just want to build a community. I want to, I want to build a movement. I want to help people realize that they don't have to work, you know, nine to five for somebody if they don't want to, they don't have to do things they don't like to do. And, um, you know, they can make money, they can make money doing this. And I don't want them to focus on money. I want them to focus on, you know, helping people the way that they can.
and, and focusing on being really, really good at that. And because the rest will take care of itself and you'll have more than you need. And you'll, it's, it's very, very fulfilling. You don't have haters and, you know, and if you do it, it's whatever, like you don't even feel it, or at least I try to help you feel that way because like, who cares what anybody else thinks, right? Just focus on you and, and the people you're trying to help and don't get distracted by a bunch of shiny objects. You know, I got so annoyed by that. It's like every week I was trying to do something new or something different or trying to, oh, this software, or, oh, this thing. And I finally realized like, oh, you know, it has nothing, has nothing to do with that. <laughs> you know, just, just, I need to focus on the people I can help. So I don't know. Sorry, that's a bad long winded answer, but probably, but I just, you can do ads and they will work very effectively for you. Um, okay. Do you ever experience students having issues with having a membership and dividing their access to you on calls or do you, or do two calls a week satisfy that? Oh, okay. Um, well, that first question is uh, no. I, I just let people know that, listen, um, I am here twice. This is how it works. <laughs> um, I'm on here at Monday at 6 p.m. Central time or I'm on Thursday at 10 a.m. Central Time. And I do it at two different times for people in different time zones. And if they can't get on either one of those, they can reach out in the community. And a lot of times what I'll do is I'll answer them with a Loom video, you know, and I'll try to answer their question that way. Um, but listen, if you really want an answer to something and you really need that to be handled and gotten done, you'll be there. You'll get on you'll get on, you'll, you'll either stay up or you'll do whatever you got to do. And, you know, it's like, if you're training for something like, you know, my son, he's, he's a runner. He runs in college and stuff like he runs whether he wants to run or not, you know, like you do the training to get to the place you want to get to. And so, um, no, you don't have to worry about that. People do what it takes when they, ha and if they know it's there, like, this model works extremely well. It's extremely systemizable and, and I've never had that issue. Next question. Or do you do two calls a week? It does satisfy that. How would you, uh, on a ramp, a weekly call, how would you on ramp a weekly call if you were to start again? Would you make it free first uh, to build some community? I'll be honest with you. I didn't really care about um, that. I just said, here it is. Let's go. And so, but I've had other people that, um, you know, they're worried about, like right now, there's four people or three people on here, you know? Like, I didn't, I didn't think anybody was going to get on, frankly. I shot it out like 10 minutes and just threw it up. Like, I literally, I was like, you know what? <laughs> Build Lab, you know, it's, it's tomorrow's the last day, you know, um, for it to be this price. And so I'm just going to, I don't know, I'm going to get on and see if people have questions. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm glad you guys are here, man. Made my day. So thank you. But on the on-ramp thing, you can do that. You know, when I, I've done in the past with different things, I've had other membership site stuff that I've done. I tell people, listen, um, for the first, you know, 30 people, uh, they can get in at half price. I'm only going to let 30 people in and it closes down at this time. Or um, you can do some free sessions if you want and just get them in there and talk to them. But at the end of the day, this is how I look at it. I'm like, here's what it is. Here's what I got. And I don't care if one person comes and then two people come and then three people come. I don't worry about that. So many things that we like worry about or think that needs to be just doesn't. And um, you just don't need to worry about that. You just need to be you and you need to be valuable to them. And that means you just need to help them get from point A to point B. If you just focus on that, everything else takes care of itself. And I promise you that. So don't, I just don't worry about those things. I just go and do it and um, people will show up. You know, it's kind of like that guy at the concert. He just starts dancing out in the field by himself. Pretty soon somebody else is dancing with them. Pretty soon the whole day, <laughs> there's a mosh pit around, you know, that's how I look at it. Um, I used to maybe think about that stuff, but I just really, I look at, I look out into the world, into the things that I see. And I'm just like, if you're out there doing good and providing value, 
and just showing up consistently and caring about people and helping them in the way that you're good at it, the other things will work out and take care of themselves. And maybe I'm dumb or something. I don't know, but it just has always worked for me that way. And you don't need as many people as you think you do. Like you don't need to have thousands of subscribers to make money. You don't need to have a thousand people on this call to, to succeed. Me, I'm just one. If I can get one person at a time that can take this information and learn from it and, and get another and I can help them solve their problem and I can help them get across that line, they'll bring me somebody else or I've done my job, you know, and it's like, that's how I think about it. And it, and I just let it build real strong structure and foundation like a tree you know you can't force a tree to grow all you can do is water it give it light and energy and protect it from the birds right taking the and that's how i think about this thing i'm just i'm planting a, an apple orchard one seed at a time and when that tree grows and it gives me apples i just replant those apples back and i have more trees and i replant and i have more trees and that's kind of how i think about this because that's really how nature works and you know, at, at one point, you know, when things were getting started, it's like there was only a couple people and then when they had a baby, you know, and then they, but that's what builds this long, hardcore thing. And so for me, I just want to change one life at a time. And pretty soon it's like all of a sudden I've got several hundred people and then that's going to compound. And you know what? I seen this post from Mr. Beast and I thought it was so powerful. I screenshot of it and, uh, uh, I want to share it with you here real quick. It says, I mean, you won't be able to really see it much probably, but maybe you'll at least get the idea. You can go see it on his thing. Uh, here it is. He was talking about how his subscribers went from age 12 to, to 25. And you can see on here how it was like, you know, well, at 12, there was one. At 13, there was 10. At 14, there was 25. At 15, there was 76. At uh, 16, there was, you know, 1,000. And then it went to 1,900. And then, then 28,000. And then 1 million. And then 4 million. So that's kind of what's going on here. You know, maybe I'll be surprised someday and Build Lab has 100,000 members in it. I don't know. You know, I whatever. I don't. It's not about that. But. I know that if I keep building it and making it better and sharing it with people that it will do the right thing. So, um, you know, just, I think the thing that matters the most is that you be you. Don't be afraid to bump your elbow or scratch your knee or fail or look stupid or silly. Don't worry about those things because it's not about you. Okay. And if you just focus on listening to your people and, and trying to help them the best you can and you're honest with them and communicate with them and you really just care about creating something real and show up every day, not because somebody's telling you to, but because you want to and, you know, create, create content because that's a real, to me, if, if, if you care about b being, you know, something that made an impact in the world. What better way than to just keep posting content on social media that some kid can find someday or some adult that's in a deep, dark place or whatever. They find some tweet that you did 10 years ago that resonates with them and inspires them and gets them to make that change in their life. Or maybe they don't jump off the edge, you know, and instead your one video that, told them who cares what other people think or something change, you know, that to me, that is, I, that means more than anything. And that, that is timeless. And, you know, so I don't know, maybe I'm not, you know, I'm not for everybody, <laughs> but, um, you know, that's kind of how I feel about it. And uh, so anyway, you guys, I have really appreciated this. And if you guys have any questions, please ask it. I'll, I'm here to help you and answer it for you. But um, listen, I'm going to, if you guys don't, if, let me know in the comments if you don't mind. Um, I would like to just post this on my, on my, uh, my YouTube channel. And um, 
I would like to be able to um, email this out to my list. And so if are you guys cool with that? Just let me know down in the comments. You can just put an X if you're cool with that. Um, but uh, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, any other questions before I jump out of here? Awesome. Very cool. You guys are so awesome. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Um, anything? Maybe just one more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to, to take you away from your food. No, um, you're fine. I'll stay on here for two hours more if you guys want. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's really cool stuff. It's really good to hear. Like, um, oh, so Chandler, really thanks good for signing up. Was... I didn't mean to interrupt you. Thanks for signing up, brother. I appreciate you so much. All right, go ahead, brother. Sorry, nice. no. you had a really good tip for um making lead magnets which was using um a powerpoint presentation mm -hmm. i found that really useful because it actually like broke it down step by step um so i just started doing those i've already got content and i didn't know what would come first i've got 10 sets of content that i've got to schedule on youtube but the reason i haven't posted them yet is because i thought that i should be making a course first to make use of that sort of like outreach right is the right thing to do create a lead magnet within that and then attach a course to it later it's completely so, clueless about it you know? yeah no this is a really good question i'm glad you asked it because like this is this is something that in my early days i was feeling kind of the same way so i totally get where you're at with that and it's kind of like a you feel like you should know the answer but so here's the thing here's how i think about it okay I'm going to give you like two kind of strange analogies, but every time I use these analogies, people go, aha. So I'm going to share them with you. When you go through the mall, right? You've probably heard this story. When you walk through the mall, the food court, and there's like that person, they got like a piece of meat on the stick and they're like, hey, you want to try some? They take like, they take the best piece of meat they got, like the most yummy meat that people order the most of and that they like, you know, usually it's like general sour or orange chicken or like, you know, teriyaki chicken or something. Right. And they have it on a toothpick. And when you walk by, they're like, Hey, you want some, they just give you a little piece of that like meal. And then when you eat it, you're like, Hmm, you know, I should, maybe I'll go get a plate or maybe next time I will, you know, or whatever. When I think about lead magnets and when I think about, you should always be wanting to generate leads every day. Like the name of the game that we're in, is literally, <laughs> yeah, Camden and London, there you go. So literally the name of the game that we're in is this. We, we build a list of people that have the problem that we can solve. So emails, we build an email list of people that have the problem that we can solve. And then we just sell the people on that list, the solution. And then we repeat that. That's the name of this game till the day I die. Okay, that's it. So how do you build a list? Well, um, like last night I was talking about on our call uh, with our, with the members of build lab, I said, Hey, if, you know, for me, if I wanted to get a bunch of cows, you know, like moo, like cows, if I want to get a bunch of cows into the fence, I just go grab a bale of alpha alpha because they love that stuff. That's like prime rib to them. I just hold it up and I lead them into the fence whoever your customer is, what is their favorite thing? Like they want to know what is their most important thing that they want to know? What is the, like that, that thing that they want to know so bad, just give that to them. Right. And show them what to do. Maybe not how to do it, but what to do. They'll pay for the how. So give them a little bit of meat on the stick, get them into the link, into the, into the list. Building the list is the most important thing over a course, over anything. Build the list, build the community, because then you can sell them anything you want. It's like get the fish out of the ocean that you, you have to, they're so hard to find and get hold of. Get all them things into the, into the bucket so that you, when you're ready to eat, you can just get a fish out of the bucket. That is the most important thing that you'll, you can do is build a list of people that have the problem that you can solve and then sell the people the solution. You don't build the course first and then sell it. You, and I teach you this in Build Lab, you outline and blueprint. Think of an architect. The architect doesn't build the building and then sell it. He creates the plans and the vision of the building 
and sells that, then they build it once they've got people to validate the concept. This is the exact same way. It's actually a framework. It's called Agile. So when people build software, they get people in beta and they build it with them, listening to the beta group as they, oh, this broke, this, not this, fix this. And then it pretty soon it goes into version one, version two, version three. That's exactly how you build a course. Okay, same in games. Perfect. That's exactly how you build a course. You do not build the course first and then sell it. You build the the concept, the blueprint. That's why I call it your perfect product blueprint, like your, your roadmap. You lay out everything that's going to be in the program. You sell that. And then when you get actual people that are going to buy it and want the thing, then you build it and you just stay a week ahead of them, right? And you communicate this with them. Okay, I want to build this. The first people that join, we're going to build this together. Okay, that's that's how you go about that. But building the leads, if you know you're going to build a program about how to plant trees, okay, you're going to teach somebody how to start an apple orchard. You lay out the blueprint and you say, ooh, in this blueprint, the most, you know, shiny object inside of my blueprint, you know, like, if it's the orchard, it's it's how to actually plant the seeds. Let's say that's the shiny object. In my world, the shiny object is the funnel, the email automations, the the lead magnet, um, the actual building of the product. You know, traffic. Those are like the lead. Those are the shiny objects. So I can create lead magnets around that, right? I can be like, hey, here's a lead. Here's the five things I do every single day when I create content to drive traffic to my site. Opt in for free. And I'm going to teach you that on the next page. I teach it to them and I say, listen, this is just, this is just a piece, this is just a little piece of the meal, what I just gave you. I have an entire program that goes into depth on all of this stuff, and you can grab it right down below. Okay. Build lab. That's how you do that. And then I build build lab. It is like when I first built build lab in beta, people jumped in. I had like 30, 40 members in there, and I built it with them. Right. And then they got to build it with me live. And then I built version one and version two. And now, I mean, there'll be 50 versions of Build Lab. You know, I just keep making it better. I just keep making it a little bit better, a little bit better. Look at the laptop. You know, the laptop just keeps getting a little bit better, a little bit better. Okay. So I hope, does that answer the question? <laughs> I know I go crazy, but does that, I mean, does that help you? Or do you still, or do you still have questions? No, no, that's really cool. It sounds like you would sort of like have the meat on the stick but not have the yeah. shop yet and then they would just get the meat for free and then that's kind of like a nice thing and then you can hook onto it later that's what it sounds like yep find out what the shiniest object is in your system and just give that to them for free and you don't have to go into extreme detail you just need to really answer their question like if i teach if i give away like one of the lead magnets i wrote down today was I'll just share it with you. I'm always thinking of lead magnets because leads are the, they are the lifeblood and fuel of your business, right? They are the lifeblood and fuel of your business. So you've got to generate leads. Every day you're generating leads. This was the lead magnet. I wanted to create a lead magnet. Okay, I just scribbled it down here. <laughs> I even put a little opt-in box and a little button I was drawing. Okay. Um, it says, I'm going to create a lead magnet. I think I'm going to create it. I mean, it's, I always come up with the idea. I have tons of lead magnets in here. I'm going to create the content creation engine for digital products and membership sites, how to come up with endless content ideas and the system, the daily workflow to get leads, what my schedule is and the style of uh, promoting, and then the fastest way to get leads and sales, that process that I use for that. Opt in with your, e your name, or sorry, opt in with your email. And then I, I said right here, I'm going to create 10 follow-up emails that are going to get them to go buy Build Lab once they opt in. Because that's just one part of Build Lab. And I'm literally going to give them my system and I'm going to show them what I do. And when they get in there and I do that and I answer that question for them and I say to them, listen, this is just one little piece of the puzzle. There's these other pieces that you need to have all together. When I do that, some people will take that information in that lead magnet and go, thanks, that's all I needed. And listen, I did my job as a human, goodwill, I helped somebody. Uh, you know, wonderful. They'll tell people maybe about it. Um, you know, maybe I'll get one member. 
in the whole world ever of me being alive um, from that. And then the other people are going to go, wow, this is great. I do want the other stuff too. This is awesome. And then they, they get started and you know, there's that too. Right. So some people go, well, if I tell them how to do it in the lead magnet, the thing is humans, we're really not good at putting a bunch of random things together to make the thing. Like if I poured a bunch of parts on the ground to a, like if I took like a, a, a $200,000 Porsche and I took it all apart <laughs> and I just had all the parts in the bo box. And I'm like, listen, if you put this thing together, here's all the pieces and parts to a $200,000 Porsche 911 Turbo S. Okay. In your favorite color. All you got to do is put all these pieces together and it's yours. You can sell it. You can drive it. You can whatever you want to do. 99.9% .9 of people would take the box, but they would never get the car built. Because they need somebody to be like, they need reassurance. They need accountability. They need somebody helping them through that process. We're really bad at that. I could probably give them half the car put together and they still couldn't do it. So, um, you know, when I think about lead magnets and stuff, I'm like, let me blow their mind, answer their question, but let them know that this is just a little, this is just the meat on this. This is a little piece of the meal. If you want the whole meal though, come over here. You know, it's eight bucks or whatever you can have it. That's how I think about lead magnets. One thing that's important though is, you know, I'm using how to do content, how to come up with endless content ideas for your business, right? Well, think about that. Who would want that? My perfect customer, right? The only person that's eating the meat off the stick that you're poking in front of them, they eat meat, number one. <laughs> so this is important. And they like that kind of food. You know, so it's likely that like if they're going to take some random piece of meat on a stick and, and eat it, they're probably, you know, they're, it's likely they, they would buy the, you know, the meal. So how you build the list, you already know if you've been in your thing long enough, you already know what your people really get excited about. You already know it's kind of like right now, if I said, hey, um, I'll give you a million dollars. You just have to call up your significant other and make them mad. You know what buttons to push to make them mad, right? You know what? buttons to push to make them happy it's the same way with your customers you you know those buttons that, that get them pumped up just give that to them get them into your world let them experience you think about this right now you you guys didn't even, i mean you guys are already on the email list or maybe you just seen it over at tiktok or instagram i think it's the only places i posted it i've been on here for well 11 12 oh, oh, two hours I'm not, you know, look, I mean, Chandler joined. Chandler's a new member. Heck yeah. I'm excited, brother. I can't wait to get on the calls and help you. I didn't expect any sales, though. I didn't. And I just, I knew that if I got on here and gave all I had, you know, in a couple hours or something, and hopefully we was going to get some questions, that people would be pumped up. And that they would have more clarity and more vision. And... Whether they ever did anything with me or not, it's not the point. The point is, if I help people solve their problems, my problems go away. And if you do that and keep that mental, um, that thought process, creating is easy and fun. And creating lead magnets becomes really, really easy because I know what people want. I could create a lead magnet. Here's how to create your first digital product. Okay. People opt in for that. And the people that will opt in for that are the people that would probably want build lab. So think about what you sell, get them in, let them test drive you, let them hang out with you and then say, Hey, if you want more of me and you want, you know, more detail and you want more organization and you want community and you want all that stuff and support and accountability, I'm here. You can get it. This is my little, this is the ticket into my amusement park or whatever, <laughs> or, or my country club. Does that make sense? And then inside of the country club, you, you know, once people join, you're like, we've got a golf program. We've got a tennis program and a swimming program. We should start um, a, a running program or, you know, you can always monetize it in so many different ways. Hey, we're going to, we're going to put on this big event. It's only $25 to join or whatever, you know, because you're a member, if you're not a member, it's only 50 bucks, you know, <laughs> Plus, uh, you get 50% off the membership. There's so many ways that you can do that stuff, right? And so 
don't know. Does that does that help? Does that answer? I got to head out. All right, brother. I haven't built my community yet, so I'm still slave to my clients. Thanks, Mike. Well, we're going to get that thing built, Chandler. You have a great day, man, brother. I really appreciate it. I'm so excited to work with you. Um, we're going to get that thing up and going real quick. Okay. Thursday is our next call. So jump on that. Um, and just fly into Build Lab and let's go. So, okay. Any other questions? Are you guys good? Feels like I'm in Camden and the uh, the meat's <laughs> smelling good. <laughs> <laughs> good. Well, listen, I'm I'm pumped, man. I'm glad. I hope hopefully you got some answers to some questions uh, or some clarity. Yes, super appreciate it. I'm I'm off. So thanks for the um, answers. That was really really helpful. You're very welcome, and thank you for being here and, and making it what it was. So thank you. Um, all right. Bye, guys. We yeah. See it. Anybody? Are you Abu? You cool? We good? You're right. You could be busy. I know. <laughs> so, all right. Well, listen, I appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you for letting me uh, post this. And uh, look, I, if I get to work with you in the future and build lab, awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, reach out to me uh, on the socials. You know, you can uh, send me emails. You can whatever. I'm here to help you. Okay. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you so much. And uh, hopefully I see you on another one of these. Yeah, we'll try to do another one. Okay. So. Take care. See you guys.